It's showtime, Outlander. Uh, so we've got a stream starting. Let's hope that you can hear us. Let us know what you think. Let me just adjust this quickly. All right. Because <laughs> that was a little bit messy right there. No one needs to know what happened. We just quickly <laughs> fixed something. All right, can hear you all fine. Great. That was quick, mm -hmm. and we've already got a lot of people coming in the chat saying hi. So hello everyone, my name is Anjanette, or you may know me as Forsythia within the community. I'm the community manager for Vigor, and today we've actually got a special live Q&A today because we've got two designers with us. Breaker. It's gonna be a designer discussion, so hopefully that could get a little bit interesting for you. Uh, right, so maybe we could start off with some introductions. Who would like to start? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm picking Vojta. Vojta, go ahead. Hey, well then. Hello there. Uh, my name is Vojta and I go by Eric in our designer team. I am almost the newest addition to our designer team and I did participate on uh, creating some of the wonderful features you now enjoy. So, that's mm -hmm. it. Some of them we will be talking about today, actually, but we'll get on with that later. Philip, please introduce yourself. Briefly. Hi, I'm Philip. You might have seen me on uh, previous dev streams, but for those who don't know me, I uh, was I'm a former QA tester, uh, but I will I transferred I managed to transfer to design department, so I'm a designer now along uh, along with with Yannick. and we will we are and we will try to keep the game interesting and fun for you. Mm hmm Yep. 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 So uh, let's try and see. Could you just please open the shelter menu? All right. Uh, so we wanted to start off and show you guys. Uh, you might have seen it in our announcements on our social media, but we've got Tomato Fight running briefly for today to celebrate La Tomatina. Maybe I could show the photo. So there's this festival called La Tomatina, and it's basically a real life festival where they throw tomatoes at each other. So we thought of bringing Tomato Fight back to the Outlands oh so briefly, just for you to give it a try. Um, so it's gonna be available today from 1500 UTC, which was basically six-ish minutes ago, uh, until 1700 UTC. And then it will be available again at 2300 until 2359 or essentially midnight today. Uh, so basically you could see that it's on the third slot of the encounter, like, of the shelter map UI, let's say, for picking game modes to play. Uh, we heard your feedback that it wasn't exactly pleasant that the last time we had Tomato Fight, it took away the chance to play Elimination. So we tried to incorporate that into our decision and we decided to put it on the third encounter slot instead, rotating. Uh, but it will only be rotating for a short while, like I said, so you can see on the timer that it's a uh, 1 hour and 53 minutes left for it to basically be available for now, but then it will be coming back up again later today at 2300 UTC. So yeah, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, we know that Tomato Fight is something that some enjoyed and some didn't really enjoy it, but we hope you give it another shot this time uh, and we didn't take away the chance for you to play Elimination or Shootout this time around, so let us know what you think. Uh, and I think, Yarek, you can queue up for Tomato Fight. Very well then. Uh, let's see what the chat has to say before we get into today's discussion. Um, actually, today's designer discussion is going to be interesting because we have Yarek here who worked uh, hard, very hard on Tomato Fight along with the team. I believe that it was one of... Well, maybe you could tell us the story of yeah. how the Tomato Fight was born, basically. Yeah, so um, the Tomato Fight was born from the Snowball Fight, which was present the previous winter and if I can ask you if 
with the yeah, stars, sure. I'm gonna focus on the talking. Yeah, sure. Feel free to grab it back <laughs> whenever you feel right. Like uh, and so we wanted to uh, have off season basically the same thing with obviously different different assets because you can't use snowballs in summer. So we came up with uh, tomatoes, and I got the the task to create the design and uh, come up with the ideas. So I joined up with uh, one of our coders and we started implementing actual tomatoes and uh, their throwing curves as you can see. And we, all, we also had a lot of um, troubles with, with how the curve should ex actually be curved because uh, it felt like it wasn't as realistic as it could be, it was not really uh, not really useful for the gameplay. Mm -hmm. And we actually got some suggestions from the community. Uh, the, they believe that the tomatoes should either instantly kill or put red splotches on your screen. Yeah, because I think that when we had the snowball fights during winter, uh, it was basically one shot, one kill with the snowballs. Mm -hmm. And this time around with the tomatoes, it's not. You have to kind of work harder on trying to yeah. kill them. Uh, so, I mean, thank you for the suggestion. We, I think we could try and look into it and see if it's something that we can do and incorporate. Uh, and... The second part, uh, put red or put red splotches on your screen. So I guess like to mimic tomatoes being thrown at the player, which would also be interesting. We can already see the, let's say, splatter on the ground or whenever it hits and collides with something, either on the map or uh, on the other player. But yeah, I think that maybe the red splotches might add some immersion. What do you think, Voita? Do you think that the red splotches would be cool? Or? I think they would. And actually, I also think that if you got hit with the tomato, some semblance of the red splotches, just if you, as if you got hit with a uh, with actual gun, mm -hmm. then some of them appear, but they do fade out pretty quickly. So maybe we could make them permanent and more profound, so it blocks some of the view to signify that you actually got hit. So. Yeah, we could try and see if we can tweak that then. Yes. Thank you for that suggestion. Uh, right, and while Philip is trying to run around and get some tomatoes hit against his uh, enemy trying. team... Trying? Yes, trying! <laughs> you're, you're trying, but you have, you've just barely gotten <laughs> out... You've just barely gotten out of the spawn, Philip. Come on. Right. Uh, and also just wanted to bring up that we have a feedback survey going on right now, which uh, we actually have around 1600 entries already, so 1600. Um, and so we could see how many more people could perhaps answer the survey. Thank you so much for those of you who have participated. Uh, we really appreciate your feedback. We are currently compiling all the data that we're getting. It's an ongoing process, basically. Uh, but right now we've got 1,600 entries or so participants so far. And so you've got a little bit more to go in terms of the graph or the markers where you want to get the jacket maybe or both the gloves and the jacket we'll see fingers crossed but thank you once more for those of you who have filled it out so far we actually have the survey on our website as well or uh yeah you can find it on our website the link sorry the link was sent a little bit earlier so you could try and maybe fill it up if you haven't yet uh all right back to think Boop Doopy says it was fun to, to it was enjoyable to fill out. This like, survey? That's a interesting. That's a, that's a nice. That's, yeah, that's I, a nice I, thing I, I don't think it actually helps us a lot, so. Yeah. It's and good to hear that it's, it's also not like bores and actually some fun to fill it out. Yeah, uh, we're really happy to hear that. Thank you. Um, hopefully. Hopefully more people will fill it out so that we could get more representative data or a better understanding of what the community is looking for and what the community wants. Even though we are constantly asking for feedback about it on our socials, it's also nice to have quantitative data on hand, which is exactly what this survey is for. 
Uh, let's see what the chat has to say. Have you devs got over the hangover from the last stream? <laughs> um, not all of us were hungover. Some of us had an early night, actually. <laughs> Others did stay a little bit longer to spend some time with coworkers and have fun. But I'm sure that those who stayed longer are very much recovered right now and well prepared to take on and seize the day and seize all the work that's happening. Uh, all right, let's see. And good luck to Yarek, I guess. <laughs> Um, I guess we could say that this game mode is kind of Yarek's baby. Would you kind say of. that? Uh, I kind of the idea, but uh, most of the coding and how the game actually works right now was done by by our coders. So uh, I I did participate. I'm not by in any mean by any means the the father of the idea, like the that's father true. It of, was the, a, of the thing. Yeah, actually. Like the cool uncle of the idea, right? Yeah, yeah. that's me. You, the godfather of the idea? <laughs> godfather. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sinister over to <laughs> Ah, shit. Uh, well, I think that like we really took the community's feedback into account when making Tomato Fight, because I heard some people in the community who said that Snowball Fight was cool, so let's maybe try and throw tomatoes in mm -hmm. the Outlands, so... Uh, it's also another way that we were able to incorporate community. Well, there are, there were many suggestions like what 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 else to throw, right? I I read about like well, hey let's throw knives around and uh, I don't know bombs or something like not grenades like really and I mean we we went the right way with this one. <laughs> I think so too, but I mean we'll see what the future holds. Maybe we'll come up with something interesting and goofy, which would be a nice break from the usual stuff that we already yeah. have going on. So yeah, let's see what the chat has to say. <laughs> Hard to click on the plus forty. Wait, let me see. <laughs> Wait, that was for the survey. Let me see. Yeah, that's right. The hardest part for me on the survey was admitting my age. Okay, really sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> that's not horrible. It, it, it's it. We think it's totally fine. It just helps us understand our demographic a little bit better. Again, like it's for quantitative data. It's oh, something it's really not handy not for us no, to no, have. I guess. All right. <laughs> So, um, has Wojtja heard about Punch His Beard Off? Wait, you're playing hard mode right now without headphones. <laughs> punch uh, His Beard Off. Do I to him? Punch His Beard Off. I think I heard about it, but I'm not sure what exactly was that. Uh, okay. Oh, basically, one of our partners collects... He, he, one of the, our partners collected over his tenure as a partner, I believe, recordings of us developers saying punch his beard off and he actually remixed it into a sick beat that he plays in his intros now mm -hmm. for stream it used to be a redeemable i think it still is a redeemable on his uh twitch chat but uh it's become a sick beat and uh i believe that i sent the does it, clip somewhere but i need to find it again to resend it to remind people uh, does it does it originate from from the from the naughty from the kid on the naughty list from the meme? You'll have to ask. I believe so. Yeah. I That's my take on it, but I think that the well, partner would be better versed in answering mm -hmm. that question. So if ah, you're here, you please do confirm with Philip. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Yep, from the meme, <laughs> Philip, you got it. I would like very much to hear that. I'm gonna okay, Google it I'm gonna, right away. Yeah. I'm gonna, no, you don't need to Google no, it. I'll just resend it oh, to you. It's, okay. <laughs> it's fine. Even better. Even better. All right. Uh, let's see what else the chat has to say. <laughs> Can we have dinosaur skins in the game? Well, that was another suggestion that uh, we also saw during our anniversary stream, and when it was brought up, I literally asked, like, so what kind of dinosaur <laughs> skin? Do you want to look like a stegosaurus while in the Outlands, or did you mean, like, a, a skin wrap for your weapon? Like, Outlandosaurus. Outlandosaurus. Yep, that, that could be interesting, you know? So some details would be great. Uh, thank you in advance for that. Uh, let's see what else the chat has to say. <laughs> Tomato fights, yay. Yeah, we've got it running only for a limited time only, so from 1500 UTC until 1700 UTC, and then again from 2300 until midnight. So it's a very limited time for it to be available, and we took community feedback into account because we know that some people wanted to play eliminations instead, so this time it's not blocking out eliminations or any other game modes. 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's have a look. I accidentally submitted the survey with my gamer tag instead of my player ID. I just redid it with my player ID. Was I too late or will the submission still count? It's not too late at all. Uh, let me just... Uh, when when Voita will be uh, done trying to kill someone with a tomato? This is some intense running, actually. Uh, I can show again the graphic that we had on our social media, but basically just TLDR, we have around 1,600 or 1,600 participants so far, uh, and the deadline is the 11th. All right, so Yarek died. Sheesh. Let me ah, just... I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Let me just quickly show this. So yeah, it's been running from the 26th, and it will be going on until the 11th. So don't worry about whether or not your uh, submission was counted, because it definitely was. We're still a bit away from the 11th, so don't worry about it at all. And thank you for filling it out. All right, let's see. Oh, there was a follow-up. Uh, we we want a raptor or like T-Rex skin to have. It would be cool if it could be a whole outfit set. So kind of like a onesie with spikes then? Textured like a no. dinosaur? Interesting no? idea. <laughs> I mean, if it will, if it would be a set of, of like matching clothes, you know, not like a onesie, like flamboyant onesie outfit, but like styled leather jacket or something like that with some details on it, that would be. That, I would like that. That would look cool. That would be interesting. Maybe. Well, <coughs> we could try and see. Like feel. Kind of old Landosaurus. Feel mm -hmm. free to, um, you know, start a discussion about it on our social media. You could try and see if other Outlanders would be interested as well. It, I really find that those threads are really good for us uh, as a development team, and it, al it also is good for the community because it fosters uh, discussions and communication between the community, and we also get to read whatever one feels and thinks. So feel free to start a discussion about it. Hmm. All right, let's see, let's see. Mm-hmm. Voita is so serious. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fight during Easter. Hmm? All right, interesting. Uh, he got me again. Mr. Anderson, egg fight. fight. <laughs> egg fight, throwing eggs. That would be interesting. Uh, Voita, do you have any funny stories uh, out of, let's say, your experience from helping form or helping spawn the creation <laughs> of tomato fight, basically? Yeah, yeah. Or uh, many, maybe funny issues or bugs? When we were starting with the idea of throwing the... actually using throwable weapons, because <laughs> grenades came to the game pretty recently, mm -hmm. but they do not actually count as a collision against the, the player body. So we had to come up with that, which was pretty okay. But uh, we came, we, we, unders we discovered that the tomatoes, just as the snowballs did, they despawn after a while. So we were throwing the tomatoes uh, from not that far away, like 10, 15 meters. And we were like, I don't think they are hitting because we thought there was problem with collision that was because the <laughs> tomatoes seemed to pass through the through the enemy but the problem was that they actually despawned just before they hit the enemy and therefore didn't come the skills interesting so <laughs> it's good that you all caught that before it came out that was funny funny week of testing and being like why it doesn't work it should work oh man <laughs> all right and would you say that uh, the fix for that specific issue was quite quick and easy to find, or was it a little bit tougher and you had to spend a bit more time than usual looking into it and trying to resolve uh, it? W once, I think, I think one of our scripters actually thought of it like, hey, maybe the des despawn time is too short, and they, they took a look and discovered that actually, yes, the, the despawn time was way too short. So the tomatoes didn't even have had the chance to hit anybody. They were set up correctly, but just couldn't fly long enough. Okay. So the the fix after that was very easy. Okay, that's that's great. It's a nice um, insider info for um, 
our designer, actually. And uh, let's see what else the chat has to say, maybe. How about a pumpkin fight in October? Ooh, so that I brutal. saw that. <laughs> and it does sound brutal. Uh, it sounds interesting. I'm not sure if we're able to squeeze it in for October, but it's a nice idea for sure. I mean, like, let's, I, we could probably try and um, provide some insight. Uh, Yarik, when do you, when do you believe, remember us starting to work on the tomato fight as a game? I think it was like, isn't it, wasn't it early this year sometime? Definitely early, early this year. I think it was somewhere around March. Yeah, I think so too. I, I remember us talking about it at the end of February, early March. Yeah. So, yeah, we basically had this along the works for a while uh, before we could release it because that's how game development works. We actually have to plan and start working on things way in advance uh, so that we could make our deadlines. So, yeah. Uh, this is the last round, I guess. We'll see. Yeah, and it is the last yeah. round, I mm -hmm. see. Uh, let's see what the chat has to say. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's see. La Tomatina is a famous festival here in Spain, but there is also another one where they do the same thing but with oranges. It's a bit more violent. Um, it sounds painful, I think. Like. <laughs> It sounds a bit more hardcore. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that when I was reading a bit more about La Tomatina, I heard that there are some ground rules set that I think one of them is that when you grab a tomato, you have to make sure to squish it a little bit in uh -huh. your hand before throwing it. So, I don't know. I, I, I would say that oranges are a bit harder anyway, so I'm not sure what the ground rules are for that, but that would be interesting to hear for sure. We'll probably, I'll probably take a look on good old Google for that. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what else the chat has to say. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, everyone's trying to do dinosaur language in the chat. Ah, beautiful, yes. This is interesting. Uh, uh, uh. Like, let's see what else the chat has to say. How, how did it come up to the dinosaurs? Oh, uh, because someone was suggesting dinosaur skins in the game and I asked them to elaborate, like, would they uh -huh. like an outfit uh -huh. or if they would like some weapon skins, like a wrap with it, and they said that they want a full body outfit looking onesie. like, yeah, yeah like sure, a onesie, sure, sure. and so now they're like, should we have dinosaur as a language in the Outlands now? <laughs> so, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, if we do, the, the, the lore will get much more twisted than it is now. <laughs> oh, that, no, that's not something we want right now. We know we'll have some work to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, does somebody's asking... Fuge me? I, I see what you did there. What, uh, what does the team's day-to-day -day consistence of between season releases? Right, so Voita, would you like to... Yeah, start? when we finish the sprint for the season that's released... And sprint is... Uh, development word actually for like how long we start like and segment. end a project yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah. like a segment of the project as Philip said. So exactly. yes, sorry, go ahead. So please. Sprint is the uh, all of the design work, all of the implementation work and everything around it. When we end that, then there's the brief maybe one or two weeks where we have a little bit of breathing room where the, our glorious leaders decide what's gonna be in the next sprint and uh, then it's all over again. So... The, the pain train never stops. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Come on, I, am, I am joking, I am joking. Yeah, I was like, I hope it's not that bad for no, you. It's not, it's not. Uh, and would you agree, Philip, that that's how your day-to-days look like in between seasons? I think that in between seasons we're actually still working on stuff for next seasons usually right like in between of updates mm -hmm. we're still working on stuff for the next update depending yeah. on the department some are like let's say qa would be looking at bugs uh that are out with the current update mm -hmm. that's live publicly and then uh they might also be looking at bugs that are being spawned or created by new features being added into our environment where the developers or the designers or the programmers and the technical designers make new awesome things like let's say tomato fight or 
something like that or a new consumable or a new weapon. So yeah, that's the that's the thing. Like uh, given the given the time maybe, that the actual maybe it's still looking that the uh. actual well that the actual development uh, of. Of, of all the things that we need to put in takes, we need to, as Yannick said, uh, it's planned way ahead, and uh, a lot of work like is needs to be done before that. So, so it is consistent development. It it grows with each step a little bit, but different, yeah, different uh, departments do on different stages of things, right? Because, uh, like you said, QA does bugs that are present. They are there. Uh, the most important will will be will be processed, and but uh, the designers and coders like work also on on stuff that needs to be taken care of before the implementation of those things into the game. So, mm -hmm. so it is. Well, that's what Yarek wanted to say with the pin train. It's it's it is it is. Uh, it, it's, just it just keeps going. It just keeps going, and mm -hmm. everything needs to be like prepared carefully. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah, pain train lol. <laughs> yeah. True. Okay, let's have a look at what else the chat has <laughs> to say. Uh, Vigor and Persidia. Would you consider changing the locations of barred house locked container time safe on existing maps? Well, that might be a question for you, Philip, if you uh, think. What do you think about well, that? Well, partly for, for designers and partly for environment designers, right? That's uh, true. I think, I believe, and in most cases I know, that the places are, are picked very carefully by our, by our uh, environmental designer, Lord of the Environment, and they make the, the, the positions that they are situated in right now that make a lot of sense, and mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of thought between those positions. And uh, so I'm not saying it, it wouldn't, but I don't see the reason why it should yet. Mm -hmm. So definitely it is possible if you wanted to, but right now I think, I think everything works very well. Yeah, but uh, it is possible to do. But, but it might no take reason. a lot yeah. of work. It, 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 yeah, it it could take a lot of a lot of work, a lot of time to uh, to to find a new proper place and to set it properly up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of connected things to that. I wanted to point out that Yarek was basically a killer this last round. He killed like three people, and Ooh. right after that round, he just like let out a sigh of relief and like <laughs> moved his neck slightly to <laughs> relieve the tension. I am quite confident. <laughs> All right. Um, no. Let's see what. It was chat... a fadeaway throw. <laughs> let's try to see what else the chat has catch to say. Everyone. Come on, try to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see what the chat has to say. Uh, is, there was. There is throwing knives going to be a thing? Because that would be cool. That it would, would be, be cool. cool. That would be def definitely would be cool. But uh, well, we well, I personally, I personally don't see it happening in, in the near future. But we can't make any promises yes, either. Yes, so yeah. we're uh -huh. gonna have to keep it in mind and see. It, it is a and nice and tempting idea. I'm pretty sure all of us like the, it. the throwing system, the throwing system is, is kind of a new thing also. Because mm -hmm. the grenades were introduced like in season twelve, I think, or, or, or no? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, ten. Sure. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's it's kind of a new thing, and uh, a lot of work behind that. It is, yeah. So we would st we still have a lot more polishing uh -huh. and uh, cleaning up to do, basically. So uh, it would be cool, but there are no promises from us, basically, because it's a lot of hard work for our small team. But we really appreciate you bringing up the idea, and you might just see it in the future. I mean, that would be that tends to happen, <laughs> actually. <laughs> like, Tomato Fight was something that people thought of around Christmas slash New Year this year. And uh, it With came... With like, ha ha, Tomato Fight. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Whoop, surprise! <laughs> it's here now! Uh, <laughs> let's try and have a look. But I do believe that the grenades came out in season 10. Or was it season 9? Or was it 11? It's actually a lot to think about. Uh, we have a lot of um, things on our minds as well. So, and because we go in sprints and because we plan things way ahead, uh, we actually have to 
keep all of this in mind, but it's just not easy, you know? And yes, it was actually season 9 stalkers where grenades were first introduced. Nine, I even. Right, mm -hmm. right. Right, right. So, yeah, but it's still a relatively new system. Uh, but all is going well, I presume. Uh, let's see what else the chat has to say. There was a question. Um, what is your favorite part of the Vigor community in creating the game? Oh yeah, this is a really great question asked by one of our valued community members uh, whenever he sees people that he hasn't encountered before on the stream. Uh, so while Voita is being all sweaty and competitive with <laughs> tomatoes... I'm kind of sorry. <laughs> it's fine, don't apologize. Oh, oh, I thought it was you. It wasn't no, you. No, it was not. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so Philip, what would you say is... Um, mm, your favorite part of the community and creating the game, or your favorite thing? I think, uh, for me, one of one of the be best things is that the community is very healthy and and uh, constructive and and inventive. You know, as you mentioned before, slightly before, uh, a lot of ideas came from the community, and a lot of ideas from the community gets actually worked on and. And that's the that's the, <laughs> that's the that's the thing we're trying to do here. Like we're trying to do the game for for the players, and other players communicate to us, and they submit ideas, and and then give feedbacks on 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 the implementation of those ideas. I mean, that's that's the that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, I see Voita doesn't want <laughs> he doesn't want to take the flag, <laughs> dude. Throw. He's just like no, I'm gonna keep throwing. Oh, oh, that, that was, was really good, nice. GG. That was just the last guy, so I <laughs> you are on fire. That was amazing. And actually, uh, one of the the person who you just caught with a tomato last round is in the chat, and he said, "Haha, GG." <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. That was the first person I ever emoted to, and w or I was emoted from, and in I emoted tomato. back. Yeah. In, no, in, in the vigor in general. In vigor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a little bit toxic, wasn't it? There was an emote, and then you proceeded to kill each. We did emote to each other, and then we proceeded to try to murder each other. I think that's pretty. Sus. Okay. We threw tomatoes into each other's face. Kind of sus there, huh? Sus. <laughs> <laughs> a bit sus. <laughs> Yes, uh, that's the way of the Outlands. <laughs> and if ever, I don't know how sweaty Voita is right now, or <laughs> I don't know if he's capable, but we'll try and give it a shot. Uh, Voita, what? what is your favorite part of the Vigor community and your favorite part of creating the game or working on the game? I feel like even though uh, sometimes people don't really, uh, or sometimes it feels like people don't appreciate uh, all of the features we implement, Usually when it comes from the community feedback or suggestions, most most people are, are grateful for that. And that makes it great and easy to, to create for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and wait, so what's your favorite part of the game then? Like making... Well, I, I meant part of the community was the, was the suggestions and the, the feedback from, from players. Mm -hmm. My favorite part of the game is the game mode shootout, I think. I do not get to play it often, but when I do, I enjoy it very much. All right, interesting. Shit, oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't see. <laughs> that doesn't sound very realistic, Voita. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can I can confirm he was like in the rush, but he didn't really, really my, catch my, that. My boy, what's his name? Gold. Gold, Gold TT. TT. Gold TT 96 was in the middle of the animation, yeah, and I was already in the middle of this. <laughs> Hmm, no. It's hard to stop that Are you sure about that, Voita? I do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I see his hand in, in the rush. All right. Uh, let's see what else the chat has to say. Uh, well, Cineman says the dev stream gave me good luck today. I just got the knives pattern for the KK as I'm listening to the stream. Awesome. That's that's good. Happy that you got it. Uh, all right, let's have a look at what else the chat has to say. <laughs> I love the little things on backpacks and outfits. That's the best yes. part, the details on it. Mm. That is true. There were a couple of couple of new things started to appearing on, on the backpacks. You know, oh, yeah, like the, knives the knives and, knives. The, and the cups and all that. Mm -hmm. I love that too. Oh, yeah, that too. it looks sick. It brings up... It, it, it brings up um, 
uh, a number of bugs, with, with, but what feature doesn't, right? Mm. So but it's, it's a new thing and it caused a little, little bit of bugs, but a little bit of amount, but uh, it, it really, it, I like it too. I like it very much. Yeah. yeah. It's worth it. It looks awesome. I'm gonna be hyper pacifistic right now. Hello. Hello. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're in for it. Oh my You're goodness, that was sweet. <gasps> that was pretty strong. Oh my god. And then they. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't be hard. Turn him off. <laughs> they had it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for speaking Czech, but this guy is. Snake. <laughs> you snake, yeah. That's oh. what he said. Oh, well, that was spicy, though. <laughs> <laughs> you called someone a snake and then you proceeded to kill them. <laughs> like, he, well, he was disrespecting the It was justified. Troops. It was justified. Oh, and what about um, you? What is the justification of you aiming a tomato at TT while he was emoting? What? There is no justification for that. I know. There was, a, there was this thing like the time span, you know, the, 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 the actual... Uh, stages of that interaction happened, and this time frame was long enough to to act. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Titi. I I wish I didn't kill you, and uh, I will I will carry this burden forever. You will haunt me in my dreams. Oh no! He will not sleep today. No. He will not sleep well. Oh yikes! I mean, what? Poriotic or hmm. poriotic, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see. Uh, feel free to queue up for any other like a game mode you'd like, like elimination shootout or encounter or something. What do we feel like? Um, meanwhile, let's try and see what the chat has to say. I I thought I I think I saw a question that uh, someone was asking about some some new uh, pistols and SMGs. Ooh. Oh yeah, can we get new pistols in the game? That was a further, further, oh, but did basically uh, the same question about pistols and SMGs. Let me try and find it, uh, but you are more than welcome to respond to it, Philip, if you yeah, would yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, Oh yeah. I hope we can get some pistols in it. No, new I'll pistols in the can. game or SMG. We can, I mean, we yeah. try to add weapons yeah. with our major mm -hmm. updates. Uh, it's getting quite a lot. It's with the quite, weapons, as, as you might know from previous updates, it's quite it's quite probable that something mm -hmm. new will come up. Yep, yep, yep. So stay tuned. All right, let's see. There was also some talk of leaderboards, like they would like seasonal leaderboards, or they would like elimination or shootout leaderboards, or new leaderboards for other things. Go crazy, Voita. Well, that's uh, sure. that's a complicated. Yes. Uh, that's a complicated. Uh, um, subject. Uh, leaderboards are not exactly... Uh, as we want it to as be, we basically. Want it, and they are not exactly easy to mm -hmm. to make them work like really 100% properly like we intend them to. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, I personally think that until we get a really good grip on the, on the, on, on uh, the, on we will tame the leaderboards as they are now completely, uh, I would be very careful with implementing some, something, some, something new. new. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit of a it would be, finicky I, I situation. It would be, would be good, um, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, we, we need to we need to tame that first properly. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Oh, the the most best weapon of them all. Oh, yes. are you Ooh. saying that with sarcasm, or are you actually a fan of this I weapon? I am saying that with. Well, it's a hint very of sarcastic. sarcastic. I think. Okay. But he switched weapons just now, so I guess that was it. Or did he switch in order to reload? I mean, to load it, basically. We'll see about that. <laughs> Rip. All right. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, seasonal leaderboard. Yeah, it's a continued conversation yeah. from the suggestion of like seasonal or shootout or elimination mm -hmm. or some other leaderboard, uh, which, as we said, is a great idea. But like Philip mentioned, it's a bit difficult and mm -hmm. uh, needs we need to fix things and sort it out on our end first before we can try and implement a new set of leaderboards, mm -hmm. which would take a lot of time and we're not quite sure if it could fit within our sprints. Uh, but we'll see what the future holds. Ooh, look at that. Spoke about the cosmetics in game being made into merch. Shadow Soul 244 in the middle of the screen. Oh, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That would be. Oh, that would be something for me, probably. Uh, cosmetics in game being made into merch. It would be a good idea. We saw. Well, not just cosmetics, like we were thinking or playing with the idea of 
lighters as uh, real life merch. Yes, please. Yeah, that's what everyone said too. Even I'm like, yeah, please, let's yes, freaking yes. have lighters. Uh, but you know, merch is um, something that we need to work on. And we are aware of that, that we need more new merch, which by the way, if you didn't pre-order your hoodie, you still can, uh, the limited edition hoodie. <laughs> you can, it's the one for the anniversary with the, um, with the threat logo in the back and a nice little embroidered um, figure, small V logo uh, in the, on the front. So it would be nice to have. Just show it. I will. I will definitely be showing it, but I, yeah, really you know, it looks really good. but you know how it looks like, and you know that yeah, yeah, yeah. as a member of the team, you will be getting one for oh, free. That's right. oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So yeah, basically, uh, yes, our devs will be having one each, and the community can pre-order it if they would like. Uh, let's try and see. Yeah, the link has already been sent, mm -hmm. thankfully. So. Please go ahead and pre-order it while you can. Lighter would be fire. Well, that's that's exactly. Yeah. Le yes. Well, yeah. lighter fire. Would be mm -hmm. fire. Yep, yep, yep. Lighter would be lit. Yeah. <laughs> God dang it! All right. Uh, so there were questions about the report system. Uh, it's an ongoing process. We are really finally happy that we were able to implement it. We know that it was basically a really heavily requested feature and we know that it can help our community and us as well as developers in tackling suspicious behavior and uh, undesirable behavior as well. So we're really happy it's there and we hope that you are using it responsibly. Uh, we are constantly looking into the reports and investigating them. So yeah, I hope that that answers your question. We're going to be probably taking more action soon. Uh, soon TM, you know, with the trademark kind of thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but uh, we can't share too much information about it right now, but stay tuned. Bigger plushy tomatoes. You yes. want small plushy tomatoes? Okay. Bigger plushy tomatoes that's would go that well. That's cute. That's true. That's something you can like throw at people also. Oh yeah, and it wouldn't <laughs> hurt actually. It's yes. like it's like La Tomatina but gentle. Yes. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So let's see. I want to check as well what the other chats have to say. Uh, maybe the YouTube chat. Okay, let's have a look. Will there be a shelter raid? That would be interesting. Shelter raid. Uh, unfortunately, it's not in the works right now. We're not planning on, let's say, having players be able to go into other people's shelters just now. Um, it's not our priority, and it's not something that we see in the game currently, but... Ooh, that hurt. That was a... Mm. They shot you in the back, dude. Sneak. Someone might expect a revenge. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, sorry. Just to get back into it, uh, the shelter raids or visiting other people's shelters is not something that we're working on right now. Um, and actually, I wanted to also ask you, Philip. Uh, about, there we go. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> about uh, the challenges that we've added. I know that you oh, are right. part of the team who added plenty of challenges into the update, uh, into the game for update 12.1. Yes. So, could you remember any funny stories or any hiccups with that process? Well, not, not particular ones, but uh, I think the number was like, well, it was like it's a, over 100, but 120 something, right? 126. Six, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was. Uh, I have plenty of uh, like specific things connected to that. Uh, for example, coming up with the names for the challenges, uh, just not to be like generic or something. So we we kind of played around with the with puns and and um, and uh, memes in in the in the <laughs> well not not that much memes, but you know what I mean. We tried to make you jokes. know what you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> And uh, so I, I remember that very much, uh, and uh, I think 
there are plenty of challenges connected to the different game modes. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, there, it wasn't that before, it wasn't that uh, usual. I don't, I'm not entirely sure if there, if there were some challenges connected to different game modes than a uh, drop. Maybe there were, there, there were, there were, right? there were. Yep. but there are more, so you can get, uh, you can get like while completing the challenges, you can uh, tend to the other game modes. So that would the, can, can encourage you to try them out, even if you don't play that often, which I think is a good thing, because it encourages different play styles, different game modes. So, so that might be good for your performance in the game. Mm-hmm. And and I think I had the, I had a good good time. Trying to trying to come up, try, helping out with with, uh, with the names of the challenges. That was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. There's actually a note about a challenge. One of them being find thirty buried caches. Apparently, it's quite difficult because it's a that daily is a daily mission. Yep, a daily challenge. Wow. Well, but it is supposed to be challenging. Is it well, really? Well, I mean, I'm uh, um, um, yeah, I'm start trying to. If it's like a well, it depends on the reward and all that, right? If it's daily, you have a full day. I think it's doable. I think I think it's it's quite a grind, it, though. It's it is, it is. But it's supposed to be right. If it's if it's like a top tier challenge, it's not like the most difficult one. Mhm. So think, yeah. thank you for the feedback. That it's difficult. Yeah, but but yeah, the feedback also yeah. The, Many many players might find that too challenging, so we we would like to know that if that's if that's the issue. Yeah, and usually we would look into some data with our numbers guy slash analyst mm-hmm. Yonash, who would probably be able to shed more insight yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. How many people are capable, or uh-huh. how many people were able to complete mm-hmm. the challenge and such? So we could definitely look into that. Yeah, well, thanks for the feedback. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's see what else the chat has to say. Rework shootout. How? Wait, let me oh. t- let me let me uh, go back to that before question. I see just 30 dick spots. Maybe it's not like third 30 like um, live buried caches, but third 30 uh, sites of buried caches like even the dummy caches. Really? Even I, uh, might be. I'm just hmm. I just saw it and it, it just sprang to my mind that maybe just 30 Spots where you can find, you know, those mm-hmm. the dummy caches. Maybe. But I mean, I'm not sure at the moment. But 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 the fake buried caches are relatively. Oof! You got sniped, boy. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Uh, <laughs> finding thirty buried caches, including fake buried caches, would be then quite achievable. Yeah, right? it's a, that's that's really quite easily doable. Well, easily, like it takes some time, right? But it's like not right. that it doesn't. But God but damn. yeah, it's, it's pretty much yeah, very much. Easily. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, like Aqueduct Circle mentioned, finding thirty loaded caches in one day is not is. reasonable. Okay. Well, I can I can easily imagine like spending full twenty hours doing that. So yeah, that would be quite tough. challenging. Well, I'm not a top-notch player actually, but but uh, but I think that could take uh, could take excessive amount of time. Mm-hmm. But so thank I, you I, for bringing it up. Might, so. might be the the dummy caches. Yeah. We can look into mm-hmm. the numbers, like like I said, <laughs> people. <laughs> Yeah, because I said that out loud. Um, Well, we could look into the numbers and see how many people got the challenges and how many out of those people who got the challenges were able to complete them. So we could use that as a starting point to see whether or not it needs to be tweaked. But thank you once Mm -hmm. more for bringing it up. Uh, It's a good point to bring up for us, so thank you. Uh, let's see what the chat has to say. Yeah, rework shootout, but uh, how would you like us to? Could you please give us some more details? What is it exactly you want to change? Or what would you change if you could? Ooh, you got 50. Oh, there was Great Lord Andrew in the, um, in the batch too, and Jess, <coughs> who's also in our stream. So that's amazing. We got some of the people in our chat with us. Uh, all right, let's see what else the chat has to say. Would be nice with the air the, drop. Those just. Sorry. I I see just. Oh yeah, she's game. here. Yeah, and uh, Great Lord Andrew is also ah, here. Yes. All right. Uh, remove prone and remove one shot headshot. Uh, could you perhaps elaborate on why you think that it would be better to remove the prone mechanic in the game? It would be great to hear what you have to say. Remove um, one shot headshot. And yeah, also one shot headshot. I mean, like headshots should be lethal in the Outlands. So let's. We would like to hear what you have mm-hmm. to say about that. 
And we've got some comments on YouTube saying that the bloom on the M249 is noticeably bigger. Well, yes, because we recently made changes to the machine guns and that involved the crosshair and bullet spread being bigger so that we could help balance it out some more. So yeah, uh, let us know how you feel about that uh, and we could try and work from there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what else the other chat has to say. Let's see oh, on Facebook. Hedges are headshots. Hedges are headshots, bottom line, then. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's <laughs> quite serious. Uh, <laughs> any chance on explosive tips for a crossbow? I think that that would be sick. That definitely would. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know if we would have time to squeeze it in. I also heard it, heard it a couple of times around the office mentioned, and that's that would be cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but as you say, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So real briefly, we're actually going to be ending this stream in a couple of minutes. We have around like six, seven minutes left. Uh, so let's just briefly run through this again that we have our survey running. Uh, it's going to be running until the 11th of September. For now, we've collected 1, 000, around 1,600 entries so far. Uh, so if you haven't participated in the survey survey yet, please go ahead and fill it out. Uh, I believe the link was sent just recently on the Twitch chat. So go ahead and uh, have a look on our website, vigorgame.com, and there's an article about the survey that we're doing, and we're doing it because we want to collect more feedback from the community, especially in a quantitative manner. Uh, we really appreciate the threads and the posts that we get on our social media, but it's always good to have hard data on hand, mm -hmm. which is quantitative data, which is what we're trying to get with this survey. Uh, so if you haven't participated yet, please go ahead and fill it out. We would really appreciate your feedback. And to those who have already participated, thank you so much. Uh, a big thank you from the team, basically, for filling out the feedback, because we want to use it to improve the game and we want to use it like I said, to have quantitative data for us. Uh, and real briefly, uh, we also have Lato Matina going on until... It already started, uh, but it's ending in the third encounter slot uh, at 1700 UTC. And then it's gonna start again for an hour at 2300 until midnight. So go and get them tomatoes on uh it's mm. we decided to put it on the encounter slot so that it doesn't hinder people's um choices of playing elimination for example which is one of the biggest feedbacks that we heard uh when we released the tomato fight last time so we hope that you get to enjoy it <laughs> uh all right let's try and see what else the chat has to say because we are leaving we're going to be ending stream in a bit, so I just want to see what people have to say before we go. <laughs> Aquaducts um, are cool. Is requesting the Dunash comes back. Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh, the, oh, the, the stats, stats, stats guy. guy for, awesome beard, I mean. Forgot his name, but has an awesome beard. Yeah. But you oh, know what? We, we do not that's, suffice. That's, I mean, that's, <laughs> just, he's, yeah. he's, that's, that's, jo that's Jonas. Yeah, totally that's, understandable. <laughs> yeah, it was actually recently that I heard his name being pronounced as Jonas, but like I was calling him <laughs> as Jonas because... Check, but yeah, because it makes check, sense. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense that it would be Jonas in English. Jonas. Uh, all right, yeah, we could we could try and bring him back for another stream. Uh, might might need a bit of a convincing. And <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and speak to him. Maybe we'll see what we can do. Push him uh, <laughs> all right, let's see what else the chat has to say. Uh, <laughs> Best of luck team, just downloaded Vigor again the other day, I finally had space for it. Well, it's great that you re-downloaded the game, uh, and we're happy that you were able to come back to it, and uh, we hope you can enjoy it this time, especially because we've got Tomato Fight going on for a limited period of time. So yeah, alright, let's see what else the chat has to say. <laughs> Please work on more mechanics fixes rather than putting more skins in. Actually, uh, a common misconception within the community is that there are different... Like, they think that everyone is working on everything thing, at yeah. once. 
by everything it was actually correct that Philip said one thing. Sorry, thank you. It's been a long day. Um, <laughs> but yes, so that's a popular thought by the community that all of us are right now working on something like, I don't know, let's say that all of us were sitting down and working on tomato fight. But that's actually not the case. We've got different departments doing different things. So even though there are a lot of skins being added, it just shows the strength of our art department, right? Uh, it doesn't indicate anything about other teams not doing their job, it's that they are focusing on other things, but you get to see the output of other departments more than usual. I mean, there are other departments where you don't see too many of their output publicly, like, let's say, programmers? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, we do sure. see some of their output, but a lot of their work is actually behind behind the scenes and in terms of like server maintenance mm -hmm. and cloud and all of that. Mine in, in black work. Yeah, <laughs> the hidden work. Alright, uh, let's see what else the chat has to say. <laughs> the work <laughs> must be an 80 player map. Well, that actually corresponds with the with what you just said about the servers and all that, because that would be, that would, that would be interesting to say the least. <laughs> At least 80, right? At least 80, okay, sure. okay. Uh, even though it sounds like a good idea from the community's end, uh, we as a team feel like adding more players onto Dverg would be really difficult. Um, it would basically cause issues for the servers and it would just not be a very pleasant playing experience for all of you, which is something that we don't want. We want to make sure that it's going smoothly and nicely for our community and our players. So that's why we're not planning on adding 80 or at least 80 players into Dverg Forest right now. I believe that for all the maps that we've got, we've got a variety of like 13 players for this map. Mm -hmm. Like I think Fjallkanten, Dverg, and uh, mm -hmm. those are just a few that I can name off the top of my head. They have 13 players and then smaller maps like Battery or Snow Deck, they have eight. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think that the team did their best to really modify the amount of players that can go in. So mm -hmm. the, it's the best, it's, it's the sweet yeah. spot. It is justified by also mainly by, by the environment designers also because he has, he has all of these plans. How big is it? How the, the locations work? How mm -hmm. many people is it good to entertain in, in one position and all that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, Dverk, well, yeah, Dverk Forest, yeah, it was talking about Dverk, right? It is kind of kind of big, uh, but it also has you when you when you play Dverk Forest with with full map, you have uh, also chance to get it uh, nicely boosted with twelve players and lo lo lower probability to bump into someone, so mm -hmm. great looting opportunities there, for mm -hmm. example. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so we're reaching the end of our stream. Uh, we're about to say goodbye to our lovely community who joined us today. Thank you, Voita, for joining us. Voita is the Tomato Fight Master designer. And thank you, Philip, for joining us today. We basically had a designer discussion. And last thing, if you haven't filled out our survey, please do so. It's on our website. Uh, Voita, any last words for our community before we say bye? How, how was the meme with the beard? Oh, punch his beard off. Punch his beard off. <laughs> Goddamn. Serious face. <laughs> we, we hope you got it. All right. Nice last words. Um, it was at the 1996. Mm -hmm. Anytime better. Because <laughs> you owe him now. I do owe him. I do owe him. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. And Philip, any last words from you before we head out? And then for well, before the day? we head out, I thought... I was just, no. <laughs> uh, no, just enjoy the game, enjoy the enjoy the tomato fight, and let us know what you think about it. Let us know what you think about the new stuff, and we will be preparing something new for you every day, guys. Yep, you may not see it now, but you will be seeing it in the future, real soon. All right, so thank you all for stopping by. Have an amazing day, and we'll see you in the Outlands. Bye-bye. Bye. See you in the Outlands. Bye -bye.